guys and uh, welcome to the channel. Today we're reviewing the gallery swallowtail that gallery kindly sent me and they sent me the Barbatus Rex version and I'm not sure why they did that because they are both the same. They both come with a 0.28, a 0.5 and a 0.7 needle and at the back of the box you can see the intended application from semi detail to wide but we'll get onto that in the spraying tests. Very nice packaging Nice little magnetic lid and uh, on the back of the lid is uh, this, uh, all the parts, all the parts so in case you take it apart you can see exactly how it goes together. A nice little booklet here with some uh, handy tips and tricks. Add lube I thought was uh, quite entertaining but yeah. So of course in the box you get the, the normal extra seals that you get with galleries and in this case we've got the seven and the five needles also separate fit shipped comes with a 0.28 which I won't use um, you've got two cups and I think they could have given us a bigger cup also a little quick release which is always handy and they did send this to me and then I asked them to please send me the fan cap because that for me was the, the real reason I actually was very keen to test this brush but you can buy it with a fan cap upgrade all ready to go or you can just uh, select one where the fan cap is already included. So yeah, look, this is not uh, a Mobius. Uh, don't expect that kind of quality, but it is um, very nicely made in essence. And it also comes with this sort of a, a Mac nozzle affair I don't quite think that this is quite necessary for this sort of airbrush because it is quite robust. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, I didn't find the atomization to be particularly different to anything else that I have here. But fitting the nozzle is an easy affair. You just pop it in and then the uh, nozzle cell centers into the appropriate nozzle cap. All very easy. Excuse the paint. I've been testing this extensively to see how it fits into my workflow. Fitting the fan cap is also very simple. You just take off the old fan cap, align it, and then this cap only goes one way. You'll see it has a retaining ring. So that goes towards the outside to keep the air cap in place. Align the, the, the fan cap and then off you go. This is the biggest cup they sent. As I say, I could have done with a bigger cup because it goes through paint like no one's business. The lid fits beautifully. The one thing they said on the, on the website was mirror-like finish, but um, I didn't quite uh, see that. It's not like the same quality as the Mobius, not even close, but uh, it's also not meant to be and I don't think it needs to be. But it's fine, it all works. It cleans up easily enough, just like anything else. Um, and I'm not going to take this particular airbrush apart because it is quite complicated and there's quite a few parts and to me this is more of a tool um, to be used for thick primer and varnishes and I know that um, a lot of modelers might use this to lay down some, some uh, primer on their dioramas or their models and it's a great tool for that and this, this uh, handle only fits one way of course, so make sure you put that on the right way. Put the retaining ring back on, it just slips over. Give that a nice little tighten and you can put your quick release back and off you go. Uh, this uh, model features a paint limiter. I'm not sure why you would want that on this sort of airbrush. Um, because you can just pull the trigger back to where you need it. It's not like you're painting paintings or fine detail, you're basically wanting to blast some paint down with this. It's not a precision tool and I don't think it's meant to be a precision tool. I think it's a workhorse. And I want it mainly for, um, I was thinking of primer, but we'll get to that just now. So I'm going to use this brush uh, mainly to put down my varnishes over my finished airbrush items. And you can here, see here some of the engraving. Very nice. I mean, it's um, it's it's not a masterpiece, but it's also not meant to be. 
and uh, just be careful this is a thinner needle than on the on the uh, Mobius it's a 1.1 uh, millimeter I think the Mobius has got a 1.5 so yeah look, these these nozzles are very easy to distinguish the black one is the 0.7 and the other two are the 0.28 and the 0.5 and they've all got different size holes so it's not like you can really mix them up um, here's one of the caps and the nozzle is self-centering it just pops in and then you screw it onto the body and off you go here are the caps the 7, 5 and the 2, 8 you can see definitely the uh, hole sizes are visibly different but let's get to the spraying test and this is what interested me the most. So here's the point 28 with its uh, normal cap and you can see it already lays down quite a fair amount of paint. And I've uh, only reduced this paint by 50% with some distilled water. I wanted to get it as thick as I could without being ridiculous unless you want to be spraying glue. I think you need a spray gun for that. Uh, that's the sort of spray pattern you're going to get out of the point 28 and between all three nozzles I didn't really find really much difference in the spray pattern and that's due to the fact that they all share the same fan cap or the same air cap. So here I've now switched to the fan cap on the 0.28. I've just noticed an immediate problem that it's spraying more on the one side than the other side. So I turned the fan cap around. I thought maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just being stupid. But uh, indeed, there you can see now the thicker part is on top. So for me, this is pretty useless in that sense. Uh, I can't primer or do anything with this fan cap, which is a bit of a disappointment. I'm not sure if the air hole is a bit different on the one side than the other. But yeah, uh, consistently it lays down a very uneven sort of a pattern. So that's not going to work for me. But let's carry on. So this is the 0.7 with its needle. Of course the fan cap only works with a 0.5 or a 2.8. It doesn't work with a 0.7 which is a bit disappointing. So that this is the fan cap. Immediately much less air, much less paint and a very uneven um, lay down. You can see the three bands forming there quite clearly. So that for me is a, a non-starter. I'm not sure why that is, so that is a bit disappointing. So I thought, uh, let me just test this again. And I'll be using this with the 0.7 and its natural nozzle just to um, lay down some um, varnish on my paintings. I won't use it for primer because it's just not even enough. I'll have to revert back to a brush or use the 7. Uh, needle and nozzle to lay that down So let's get down to what I liked and what I didn't like. I like the shape of the uh, Actual brush the whole concept is very nice. It's very comfortable um, After stripping it and greasing the entire brush It was very smooth initially. It was a little bit rough, but uh, It wasn't terrible. It, it was just a bit smoother once I had greased it I did like the three needles and nozzles that the kit comes with. For me personally, I would have um, not worried about a 0.28, um, but be that as it may, but that was handy. I liked the big rubber cap in front to protect it, that was nice. What didn't I like? I didn't like the rather small cup, although it's fairly large, but it's not really large enough for what I need. But on Amazon, you can just buy some general purpose cups and I think they will all fit. If you want a bigger one, uh, I didn't like the fact that the fan cap that I specifically waited an extra three weeks for um, didn't really perform the way I hoped. I was hoping that it would be as powerful as the 0.7 which really blasts down some paint so that I could uh, primer and varnish my panels. But unfortunately that's not the case. Uh, a 0.28 with a fan cap for me personally is uh, of no use. A 5 is a little better, but still, it's the, the airflow is so so much reduced compared to any of the other nozzles, in fact, uh, that I don't quite see the point. 
the idea is nice, but I think the execution is not quite there yet. Um, I don't think that the nozzle is seated evenly in the cap, and that is possibly why it's spraying an uneven pattern. For me, unfortunately, that is pretty useless. Um, so yeah, I won't be using that. I liked uh, also the um, included uh, quick release, which is very nice. Uh, the colors of these, uh, the orange and this blue one is also uh, quite attractive. The whole brush looks very pretty. Um, yeah, so there we have it guys. I think there's about as much as I can say about this particular one. So yeah, there we go guys. Thanks uh, to Gallery for sending this to me. I am really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And I look forward to seeing what Gallery comes up with next. But yeah, thanks. Please hit the like, subscribe, and then we'll see you in the next one.